So in today's session, we will understand concept along with concept, we will understand problem also, which are related to business, we will not consider. Now, from salary to stop, we have to take 8,000 because 8,000 is not related to business. Your net profit plus your expenses and disallowed items. Hello everyone, this is your other sir here, lecturing with the Ashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. And we are in the session 9 of your topic called Business or Profession. We are done with your profession topic and now we are doing the topic with business. Now, we will do another 2 or 3 problems so that you will understand better what is business actually. Now, so in today's session, we will understand concept, along with concept, we will understand problem also. Now, so these are the information we have, you know that which are not related to business, we are supposed to consider, which are not related, which are related to business, we will not consider. Now, always go with your net profit first. What is your net profit? 1,4100. We have to start our problem with net profit. Once you're done with net profit, we have to check all the expenses which are not related, not directly related to business we are supposed to take. Now, once again I'll repeat, if you want, you can write down under these expenses which are not related. If you want, please write down because every problem it will be helpful for you. Now, write down out of this which are not related. First one, all the reserves, any reserves, any reserves, all the provisions, income tax, life insurance premium, depreciation, hope you are getting all the reserves, provisions, income tax, life insurance premium, depreciation, any personal expenses, municipal tax, personal expenses, municipal tax, or any tax paid other than your GST, other than your GST, any like luxury tax. Now it is, there is no luxury tax, but in the old question paper you will find luxury tax also. Those kind of things we are not supposed to take. Clear provisions, reserve, depreciation, personal expenses, your income tax, life insurance premium, any personal thing like your uh, municipal tax, everything are not part of your business income. Now, before I read to this, I'll go to your adjustment. Later, I'll come back for this. Now, Salary to staff include 8,000 paid for watchman employed at home. From salary to staff, we have to take 8,000 because 8,000 is not related to business. General charges include 2,000 for distribution of gift. General charges are part of the business, but out of general charges, take out this 2,000. 2,000 is a personal. Half of the rent paid for proprietor resident. So whatever rent paid half for business, half for personal. So we have to take personal, half we have to consider. 8,000 pay for trade association. What is this? Donation. This is what? Donation. Out of donation, 8,000 is business. Remaining is personal. Allow depreciation, 30,000. As per income tax. Clear? Yes. Rent, 24,000 we have, out of 24,000, 8,000 for personal. So we should take only 8,000. We should consider only 8,000. Salary to staff out of 90,000, we have to consider how much? Salary, salary to staff it is 8,000 and general charges, rent paid half, half only we are supposed to consider. Salary, we have to take 8,000. I have to change this. Your salary should be 8,000. Your salary should be 8,000. Your rent, 24,000 multiplied with 1 by 2, it will come 12,000. Your rent comes around 12,000. 
thousand. Then general charges. Out of general charges, two thousand for personal. Take only two thousand. In this two thousand. Interest on loan for purchase of machinery. Take. See if the loan for business purpose you are not supposed to take. For machinery means it is a capital nature. For that, if you have purchased, taken loan means it is not part of your business. Proprietor salary, take. Bad debts, no. Reserves, as I told you, all the reserves, all the provisions will come. Take reserves, take provision, another reserve. Income tax, interest on capital, municipal tax, LIP. Donation, out of 15,000. 8,000 for trade association, you take balance 7,000. So it will be how much donation? You have to take 7,000. Now, entertainment expenses, part of your business. Legal charges also, part of your business. Now, net profit, we have to take in the beginning. Hope you are clear. Yes, I'll take one by one. Net profit, 1,4,100. Net profit, one lakh. 4100 1 lakh 4100 is your net profit now i'll go one by one expenses now rent it is 12000 salary 8000 rent 12000 in this i'll use different color rent so rent how much rent Rent, I should take 12. Salary, it is 8. Rent, it is 12,000. Remember, 24,000 into 1 divided by 2. Salary. Salary, it is 8,000. It is as per adjustment. Now, after that, we have general charges. It is only 2,000. General charges. General charges 2000. 2000, how come we got it is as per adjustment? Then after that, we have purchase loan, it is 4000. Interest on loan 4000. Interest on loan 4000. Next, after this, we have proprietor salary 15,000. Proprietor salary, 15,000. Proprietor salary, yes. Proprietor salary, 15, I have taken. Next. Reserve for bad debts, 2,800. Reserve for bad debts, 2,800. I'll cross check with the amount. Yes, 2,800. Next. Reserve for sales tax 6,000, income tax 12,000. Sales tax 12,000. Sales tax 12,000. And income tax. Income tax, I'll check. Sales tax it is 6,000 and income tax is 12,000. So it must be 12,000 and this must be 6,000. Now, next. After income tax, do we have anything? Interest on capital 2000, municipal taxes 1200. Income, interest on capital 2000, interest on capital, interest on capital 2000, municipal tax, municipal tax. Municipal tax, it is how much? 1,200, LIP 3,600. 1,200, LIP 3,600. Then, after this, we have donation. How much you have to take? Seven. Why it is seven? I'll show you. Donation, it is 7,000. Donation, out of 15,000, 8,000 for trade association. What is the balance? 7. 
these are your expenses hope you are clear good now we have to add all the expenses now if you add this 12000 plus 8000 plus 2000 plus 4000 plus 15000 plus 2800 plus 6000 plus 12000 plus 2000 plus 1200 plus 3600 plus 7000 hope you are clear 75600 it must be 75600 your net profit plus your expenses add disallowed items now we go to next one less allowable expenses and other head income in this what will come means this is your question all the credit item all the credit item if it is other than your business and profession what are your business or profession like any budgets allowed disallowed earlier year will not come discount will not come and any other business related income will not come other than that everything has to come now gross profit we will not take because we have considered net profit then dividend from indian company 12000 dividend from indian company 12000 next dividend from foreign company 8000 dividend from dividend from foreign company how much it is dividend from foreign company yes it is 8000 8000 next after this we have rent rent also not your business income if you sell something if you get income that is your business income rent it is income from house property rent rupees 36000 rent 36000 then after rent we have profit from smuggling 10000 profit from smuggling 10,000 next after this we have profit on sale of machinery 5,000 profit on sale of machinery profit on sale of machinery how much I'll check this profit on sale of machinery is 5 Next, interest on bank deposit 2000. Interest on bank deposit, interest on bank deposit 2000. Next, after this, discount is part of the business, we will not take. Refund of income tax, we should take 4200. Refund of income tax. A refund of income tax 4200 these are the things allowable items we are supposed to take in the outer column so it is 12,000 plus 8,000 plus 36,000 plus 10,000 plus 5,000 plus 2,000 plus 4200 I got 77,200 77,000 200 now this has to be minus I'll cross check once 12,000 plus 8,000 plus 36,000 plus 10,000 plus 5,000 plus 2,000 plus 4,200 yes I got 77 200 now see this is your net profit add disallowed item add this your 1 lakh 4 100, 1 lakh 4 100 plus 75 600. I added minus 77,200. I got 1 lakh 2,500. 1 lakh 2,500. This is what 
your business income. Hope. Any doubt up to this? Hope there is no doubt. This is all about your allowable expenses and other head income. Hope you are clear. Yes, good. This is all about your calculation. So please work out without seeing your answer. I'll go out of the screen. Please take screenshot. So this is your question. Your adjustments. So in this, one thing we have not taken, see, salary to staff, it is taken. General charges considered. Half of the rent, yes, it is taken. Your 8,000 pay for trade association, we have considered. Allowed depreciation. This 13,000, we have not taken. We have to take that 13,000 now. So we have not considered. Always remember, never miss adjustments. Never miss adjustments. Your, how much there is? Your depreciation. Depreciation as per adjustment. It is 13,000. You have to add the depreciation without fail. See, 12,000 plus 8,000 plus 36,000 plus 10,000 plus 5,000 plus 2000 plus 4200 plus 13,000 plus, yeah, I got 90,200. It is how much? 90,200. Now we'll see what is the answer. So the depreciation, remember, whatever is there in the adjustment, you are supposed to take. This is very important. Now, so we'll add this. 1 lakh 4, 100 plus 75, 600 minus your 90,200. How much I got? 89,500. 89,500. You can write it here only. 89,500. So, so this is what your business income. 89,500. You are supposed to take 1 lakh 4,000 plus 75 minus 90,200. You got final answer. 89,500 as your business income. I'll go to all the slides. Please take screenshot. So this is your question, your adjustment, your answer, part one, answer, part two. So this is all about your today's session. Please work out at home. Thank you.